There is a scene in Gasoline Alley. It's almost time for the drivers to be going down. We're waiting at this moment, in fact, for A.J. Foyt to emerge from his garage to make the walk for the 30th time. The pace accelerates at Indy now, like the jockeys moving onto the track at the Kentucky Derby, like the football players bursting from the tunnel at a Notre Dame home game. Now the drivers of Indianapolis make their ceremonial way from Gasoline Alley to the starting grid. No one, no one has made that walk as often as A.J. Foyt. This is his 30th consecutive 500. Why don't we walk with him now? The wild party before him like the waters of the Red Sea. You're walking with A.J. I think You on? Stopping for a last-minute interview. Can you imagine that? I would say that Boyd, at the age of 52, after winning Indianapolis four times, after crashing here just three days ago on Thursday, now he's moving again. Well wishes. Pat them. Still in the crowd now. Now, now moving into the uh, the bulk of the crowd, out of gasoline out. Under the sign, hung there for so many years. When AJ first came, at the Rogersville Group, the cars were high, front engines. Monster, not like the sleek rear engine models of today. AJ Foyt now in the kid area. What more appropriate as A.J. Foyt walks into the pits and for the band to play, coincidentally, Cars and Stripes Forever. Pride of Texas, A.J. Can he make it five? We'll be finding out very shortly. And we're much closer to the start now at Indianapolis. Standing by, ready to do the play-by-play -play for you again this year in the ABC commentary booth suspended hanging underneath that second depth of the grandstands that you see there. You can make out our banner. Let's go right now to my ABC sports colleague, Jim Lampley. Okay, Jim. All right, Jim, thank you very much. And it is once again a thrill and indeed a humbling privilege for all three of us, and I think especially for me, to get to narrate this great spectacle in sports. No event as large 